Several years ago, thousands of families had to resettle from their old homes in Laos's Nakai Plateau to make way for the construction of the Nam 22 hydropower project. Son So Pa's family is one of 1,300 families that had to move to make way for the dam. A few years ago, her family was desperately poor, living in a thatched hut. She struggled to make just one dollar a day selling bamboo shoots and fish. In the past, we did shifting cultivation, but there was a lack of rice for our family, no roads to walk on. We even had no clothes to wear. When we sold forest products, we had to carry them for four to five hours going to the market. Though life was hard, Mrs. Son still worried about the changes the dam would bring. Five years later, with better living conditions and better roads, the family has dramatically improved its standard of living. I can earn more income. I can see that my family is happy living here. New medical centres and schools have made life better. So has improved sanitation, running water and electricity. The villagers in the plateau were very isolated from the outside world. During half of the year, the rainy season, they couldn't even get out. And so if uh, some a member of their family became sick, um, they either had to, to help them themselves or they would perish. Those problems are no longer there. They have uh, now a livelihood that isn't uh, dependent on subsistence uh, agriculture. Despite its success, the dam has sparked significant controversy, particularly about its potential environmental impact. Some people living downstream have noticed more decomposed matter in the water. I noticed that the water is muddy, red in colour, and the water has been rising. We can observe the changes. The Nam Toon Power Company, which operates the dam, is spending $60 million to address water quality concerns. The reservoir has been impounded for, for some time and of course there will be some uh, vegetation that's been rotting. However, we're at the height of the wet season, so it's quite natural for the, for the Sebang fire to be swollen. The project's biggest challenge is ensuring environmental and social concerns continue to be addressed. What the, the project is doing is work with the community to come up with plans for using the land and the resources in a way that's going to be sustainable over time. Nam Toon Too is the largest foreign investment ever undertaken in Laos. In a country where the majority of families still live on less than two dollars a day, the project's success is vital for its future.